cantaba cuando mi niña dormía. When I was 17, I went back to Spain to go to medical school. That is where I started my journey to try to figure it out what was going on with my body. I arrived to New York City in 1983 looking for an answer. An immigrant, language barriers, cultural barriers. I didn't know what was going to happen. We still don't really understand the cause, but we, we understand a lot of the molecules that are playing a role, the cells that are playing a role. It primarily manifests in the joints. So the joints become swollen, hot, very painful. The doctor just makes this sound like his heart sank, you know? And he says, has he ever complained of not being able to see? And I said, the only reason he's asking me that question, the only good reason I can think that he's asking me that question is because he can't see. It is really hard when I have to take lots of medicine. I don't even know how many I take. There's so many. It has surprises built in. It doesn't go down one track. But to think of children, no, I, I didn't know that. And that's one of the things that opened up when I did my research. When I received my first diagnosis, the doctor said, I will be crippled in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. And I said, oh no. This is not over, this is the beginning. 